Welcome to the WBC Arena. Excited to be here for this one. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. Adam Prince Jr. Hamed, 180 centimeters tall with a reach of 170. Here comes Prince Jr. Here comes Surrey, England. King Rye, Ryan Garcia, one of the most famous boxers. Though. And now it's time for the... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Surrey, England, and the... All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. What? These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Nice exchange here from both men. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. You see the nerves of the fighter stepping into the ring, Tom. It can tell you so much about a fighter, and they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that's, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. That left counter was perfectly timed. And this with that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He misses with that jab. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. He blocks the hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. Good left counter that lands. Seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Here we go, it's round two. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. This counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counterpunches are the best. Good counterpunching for both these athletes. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with the left uppercut. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He just misses with that big right hand. And he fails to score with that left hook. Both men step back for just a moment. Oh. 
Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs a... On to the third. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They're going to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Beautiful counter punch. You know these smaller fighters have those fast hands and good footwork, but what else? This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get speed, good footwork. You're gonna get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring, they need a phone box. He threw the hook, didn't land. Nice job landing that left counter punch. These two are the perfect dance partners. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. And he just misses with that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard, it's a much still battle. Lands with the right counter. He parries away that left hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Could not have come soon enough for this guy. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to outthink him. You've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little fag and a pickpocket him. That left counter punch will score. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That left hook missed. Neither man really defending themselves. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through? I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Wow, you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Come on, look at him. Look at him now. Time for the fifth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Missed him with that uppercut. Good counter punching for both these fighters. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong, because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. before he knows what to do but can he do it how are they still standing good counter left hand there left counter scores he gets out of the way of that left hand won't score. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a counter left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Keep doing what you're doing. You get to up here and just start tearing up. Here we go in the sixth round. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. The perfect counter lands. Nice punch. Misses with that jab. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Back and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Nice exchange here from both men. Both men step back for just a moment. Right punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Round seven. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter.
There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? She just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Catch and shoot. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Nothing but air on that hook. Perfect counter. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Right now, the flash is seen and finally couldn't take anymore. And down goes Garcia. One, two, three, four, five. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. You've been put down. You've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And they're back at it again here in round eight. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full barrel because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? These two are the perfect dance partners. That counter shot lands. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. Nice job by him to block that jab. Right punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. You 
You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Good job getting out of the way of that left. You'd like to see more jabs. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Nice counter punch. Nice offensive display, landing that left counter. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when a belly ring with fights like that, and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice looking right hook, but he blocked it. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. And there's the bell to start round 10. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Can't score with that hook again. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Looking to land the hook. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. It's all offense all the time. And Hamed just got rocked. 10 seconds left. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? This is the 11th. We've entered the championship rounds. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here.
There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about what? Nice counter shot. Well, we can tell that the defense is working, but how about some offense? Beautiful. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. Punching. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in. And there's the bell to start round 12. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. Both men step back for just a moment. Missing with the hook. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace? And Adam Hamed has been dazed! One, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T. Play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. That big hook doesn't land. There's a counter shot. Neither man really def and Adam Hamed has been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. What happened? You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. A knockout victory. That is Todd. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.